Hello, I'm Jennifer Castoldi from Trendies International and we are on the Mood launch pad. This time we are here with Majida Clark who has a very interesting story about maintaining the tradition of special textiles. Can you tell us a bit about your project? Yeah, hi. Um, I'm a weaver myself, a textile designer. And I've known about this particular material for my whole life because I'm actually Bengali. So this is one, a very particular type of technique called Jamdani. And it's incredibly sheer. It used to be known by the Romans as woven air because it was the finest fabric known to man. It's sort of incredibly fine, delicate, sheer fabric. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's thousands of yarns on there. So it's incredibly delicate and sheer. And, um, there's only 200 people left in the world that actually make this, so it's a dyeing craft. As a result, UNESCO have given it world heritage status, um, and it's completely protected as a, as a technique. It's called Jamdani. And what I wanted to do as a weaver myself is actually go there, visit them, spend some time with them and learn the technique. It's quite a closed shop, so they don't like to show everybody, but because I was a weaver, and they were so sort of, you know, I was Bengali as well. The, the idea that I could speak their language and understand their craft was really quite nice. And then I watched them for a long time to see about how to make it a bit more efficient. They, as an Indian textile designer, they, they, they put a lot of detail into it and a lot of colour. And so what I wanted to do was sort of modernise it, freshen it up, make it sort of appeal to a sort of European modern aesthetic, really. So we talked about taking out all the patterning lightening it, only using it on a natural, um, unbleached, undyed background. And then from that, sort of, I got the idea of window treatments mm -hmm. because they're so sheer. And you can see from the photo here, it looks so lovely against a window where it lets the light in. Um, uh, and yet you can still sort of see some nice vibrant patterning at the same time. Um, and then here's another one along here as well. And the other thing you might notice is that it sort of creates lovely shadows where the, the blocked patterns are. And so it has a really nice feel to them. Um, it's pure cotton, although it can be made in silk as well, but as a window treatment, we wanted it to be sort of as hard wearing as possible. And the beauty of the Jamdani is the fact that mostly in weave, it has a different pattern on the back or something else going on. But Jamdani, they almost look like prints. So if you turn it over, you'll see it's the same on the back. So on a window, you get both sides. Ah, so excellent. So it works really nicely, which is one of the problems with curtains, I always find. You know, you only get the one side. So I learned how to do this, and I've drawn some designs for them, and they're slowly sort of developing them and making them. They're entirely bespoke, uh, working with interior designers, architects, to look at hotels and big window treatments where they can make it as long and as large as you want it to entirely bespoke to that company so that's why they work so well but also as a textile designer I learned the technique and started to use it in my own weaves so mm -hmm. my weaves sort of take the Jamdani technique like this and then I've sort of used different materials so this is um, a very very fine cashmere and silk I hand dye it and handmade this myself but this is a scarf so I just wanted to sort of explore the technique in using it in different mediums in different ways actually so um Again, these are the same. I work these out as a sample blanket. People choose the pattern they like, and that's the one that I'll develop or the design that I develop. Fantastic. So you're keeping the tradition alive. I am, and I want to work with them for the next 10 years, developing them and trying to stop the younger apprentices running off to the garment factories in Dhaka, Bangladesh, when this is such a skilled craft. It's a seven-year apprenticeship, um, and they just can't get them. There's only 180, less than 200 left in the world that can do this. Well, thanks for preserving such a beautiful craft. Thank you very much.